Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message for April 27th to May 4th. This is where I talk about celestial transits that affect all zodiac signs and basically the celestial soup we're all swimming in. What kind of energies are we expecting? And we are heading into a, quite a month. When I'm looking at May, when I'm looking at it as a whole, it's full packed of energies and important decisions and we could be going through a lot of upgrading and change throughout may and it's a process that is already beginning that has already begun last week and is continuing throughout this week we are heading into a time in which our opinions and ideas and how we state things and say them and Truly, how we fight for what we believe in is more extreme. The need to defend what we believe in is heightened. And necessarily so. This is a time that we need to speak about the hardest issues, the greatest deviations, the, the things that, you know, the elephants in the table need to be met face on. We need to be talking to the ones who have the opposite opinion of the one that we do. And it is them who are causing the most damage. It is us all together with them that are swimming in the same celestial arc, you know, and space. So it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or Republican. It doesn't matter if you think the environment is in danger. It doesn't matter if you believe that um, being vegan is the answer to the world's problems or not. Not saying that it necessarily is, but it necessarily is. Um, then it doesn't really matter on what camp and what flag you're holding as long as we're all sitting on the same branch cutting it together you know so this is a time that we could feel that we would like to be more childlike we would like to let our anger rule us you know because we could feel a lot of anger coming up throughout the next week and throughout the beginning of May as we have this opposition between Mars and Jupiter actually a T-square with Neptune that can unveil a lot of things that we thought were true but were ended up as lies or fantasies and, and or on the other hand a lot of fake news making up a lot of fake news in our heads as well you know what is real what is fantasy what is the truth so we're heading into this time and we need to know how to fight and argue with each other we need to know how to struggle to get what we want in our life, both on a personal and on a general level. And that, my friends, I learned from my greatest teacher. And that's not some Indian or some uh, um, astrology teacher. or That's my wife. She taught me how to argue and how to fight and how to not lose track and focus of the aim which is to harmonize our relationship to create greater harmony and greater satisfaction actually cultivate the relationship I have with that subject or with that person in our lives because we care because there is something of value to us here so not losing track of that and letting drama flare up and burn your house down is important because not creating further deviations that would create further deformities and and crimes against morality down the road on both sides when it comes to anger we need to understand that it is a primal force that wipes away logic and are we controlled by anger is this 12 year old child still running amok or have we progressed have we educated ourselves to be better more tolerant have we matured 
have we? And that question can come up again and again and again and again in our lives in the next months or so. And it can start coming up more intensely this week. And my plain advice to you through this week is hang on to what you've got and to who you've got. Learn to love it and cherish it and give thanks for it. Because that would be your power source through this all. It is a time for thanksgiving. It is a time for rejoicing for what you do have in your life. It would be a mistake not to acknowledge the value already existing in our lives right now. Not cultivating and gardening that value in our life right now. Yes, some things would be changed and upgraded down the road. But right now, it is about what makes us up as personalities, as what identifies us. What is our signature as a human being? What is our makeup emotionally, physically, mentally, psychologically? What is our own private world made of and who? Who is it made of? Are questions that can come up in a more intense manner throughout this week. As Juno squares Chiron and as uh, Mercury is undergoing transits with a lot of planets throughout the week. It's sextiling Mars and squaring Saturn at the same time. And then it's squaring Pluto and joining Jupiter at the same time. So, and then it's conjunct the moon. So there's a lot of mercurial decisions coming up. And are we engaged in living our truth? Are we engaged in speaking the truth? Our opinions and our need to fight for what is right is going to be more and more heightened throughout the coming weeks. Rightly so. We have to speak about the things that are unspoken of, the elephants in the room. We have to uh, uh, settle our differences. We have to progress. We have to unify. Not only with between ourselves as, as people, but with this planet, with nature. <laughs> and Uranus and Taurus is going to teach us how to do that better. <laughs> One way or another over the next seven years. Um, so Vista is conjunct Venus as well on a, a Wednesday. As Mercury is doing all of this and the moon is conjunct Venus and a little before that it is just smack on Chiron so again it's a time that we can heal in relationships with our closest ones or with our value or self-value matters of money and income but we need to understand what needs to be cleansed out in order to do that we cannot keep doing everything that we did before because some of these moves and some of these actions, some of these behaviors are not beneficial. They're actually causing pain and they need to be cleansed away in order for the healing to take place. Um, what else? What else? Ah, Mr. Saturn starts retrograding on Tuesday and Throughout retrograde movement, we could feel that our development of structures, uh, that our way of educating ourselves, and maybe our way of getting ahead with things like career, a new job, or a new position, are not as they usually are. They work in un anachronistic ways, unlinear ways. We could jump stages and then need to come and uh, complete them later on. And generally speaking we could feel like uh, 
things are, you know, when I look at, at, at this retrograde starting and I look about, uh, I, I look at Mercury and what's happening in the sky, the image I get in my head is one of those monster trucks that can get over any hilltop or boulder and can crush a row of cars as well. And that's sort of the thing that we could be experiencing. We could be experiencing some great boulders in our way, but we have the energy at this time to climb over them, both as people and as a society, both individually and collectively. And we could see a lot of clashes of opinions and minds and theories, and a lot of fake news and disillusionment that is going to be heightened throughout the next month. Anyway, as we head into the second part of this week, as we head into the weekend, remember we're coming into a new moon. Be aware of the energies that float within you. Be aware uh, because everything that goes within you is like soaked in a sponge that's going to follow you throughout the next lunar cycle. It's a time of imprinting. So if you want the next month, to be good, concentrate on your cleansiness and hygiene on all levels, Friday and Saturday. Friday could be a little challenging, especially with action, with, let's say, more with words. Um, be careful not to hurt people with your words, not to be too harsh with your words, not to sting with your words, as they're going to be a square to Pluto. So as we are heading into Saturday night, we're heading into a new moon in 14 degrees off Taurus. It's packed with energy and it reconnects us to our five senses. It's a cycle that is a great time to begin building new structures in our life in the physical plane, financial structures that bring income and value, or some kind of new satisfaction, some, some kind of materialization is needed at that time so beginning new things in the beginning of april and new projects and signing things and just putting down the cornerstones of projects to come is amazingly good at this new moon and of course cornerstones that are also about how you value yourself and you on that optimistic note, I want to thank you for watching and sharing. And of course, if you want to join, are we looking for a lady or a nice man that knows astrology or uh, uh, have studied with me before maybe and wants to join our advanced online group? And that's it. I want to thank you again for watching and listening and have a beautiful, beautiful week. Bye-bye.